Hi guys, and welcome back. Before I begin, I just want to thank you all for the support, and I know some of you have been telling me to make a Patreon. I've made one, and the link is in the description below. And again, thank you everyone so much for the support. Now on with the video. I want to give a shout out to Weaver900 for helping me get this working. This map is feeling a little dark, so I'm just going to quickly switch it to daytime. So to do that, let's go to our scenario and let's just change the atmospheric chocolate mountain and light maps all back to the default Zanzibar one. And now the last thing I want to do is go to skies, click on none, change it from the lockout sky, and let's go up a few folders again and do our levels, multi. Let's go to Cyberden and go to sky and click sky.scenery. Now let's just save this and do a map reset. Cool, so here we are in our map that's now daytime. Now to get the pelican flying in the air here, we want to go in our scenario, AI, squads, we want to create a new instance. This squad, we're just going to call it pelican1. Now in that squad, we want to go to fire teams and click new instance. Now let's go to edit types and let's change this object class from scenery to character. So now when we're in character, let's click add and let's go into our tags, objects, characters, marine, AI, and let's select the marine underscore pilot dot character. Select done and hit okay. Now with that done, let's click here on the fire team and click in the game window to place a starting position. Now let's set the character type to marine pilot and let's set the vehicle type to pelican. Now under starting points here, we want to select our starting locations zero and let's change the seat type from default to driver. Now we also want to change the name of this starting location zero to pelican underscore pilot. So now that we have that set, let's move this starting location to where we want our pelican to spawn. So what I'm going to do is make it spawn off the screen here. If you notice here, you'll see this white line pointing in a direction. That's the direction in which the pelican is going to be facing when it spawns. I want it to be facing the other way, so I'm just going to click and drag on the yellow marker here and kind of rotate it. Let's also make sure to select our marine pilot and change the normal difficulty count to one and select the squad, which is Pelican one, and set that to initially placed. Now let's just go to scenarios and hit map reset. All right, so now we have a loading Pelican here, which is already pretty cool. So now what we want to do, we're going to want to make the pelican come to a certain location and stop and then fly somewhere else after that. So to do that, go into our scenario, go to AI, script data, and click on point sets and click new instance. Now it's gonna be named point set zero and let's change that name to pelican underscore points. So now that we have that done, let's just click the plus beside that and go under points here. Now let's just create a point right over here, kind of in between these two hologram things. And we can see here, this point is called P0. Now let's do file save and let's click scenario, run game scripts and make sure that's enabled. Now what you want to do is navigate to your data folder, go to levels, multi, Zanzibar, scripts. And now we're going to create a new script here by just right clicking and going new text document. Now let's call this actions and remember to remove the .txt and change it to a .hsc. And you'll get this pop up here. Just hit yes. And let's right click actions .hsc and edit with notepad plus plus. I've just split up the screen, so Sapiens on the left, and I have my Notepad++ on the right. 
So now the first thing we want to do in Notepad++ is write open bracket script space command underscore script space and now the name of our script which will just be Peli. Now let's hit enter once and tab. Let's do an open bracket and write cs underscore fly underscore two. And now what we want to do is we made this group here called pelican underscore points. We want to make sure we can copy that name from Sapien and paste it here. And then we write slash and the name of our first point, which we know here is P0. And let's do a space and write one and an end bracket. Now let's click enter and write an end bracket again. Now the next thing we want to do is click enter two more times. We want to write open bracket script space startup space and now the name of our script again, which this will be called call Ellie. And now enter tab bracket and let's write cs underscore run underscore command underscore script space. Now here what we want to write is the name of our squad that has the pelican. So let's go to AI squads and we named it pelican one. So let's write that and after that we're going to do a slash and we're going to get the name of that starting position within that squad. And now we named that pelican pilot. So let's just copy and paste that space and now this is going to be the name of that script that we made at the top which was Peli. And now let's do a close bracket, enter, close bracket. Let's hit control S in Notepad++. Now go file, compile scripts. So now let's go scenarios, map reset. So you'll see here our Pelican now flies to that point. Cool. So now I'm just going to explain a little bit of what's going on here. So the first line here is we're creating a script and the type of script that it is, is a command script. A command script is a type of script that can run over an AI. We're naming this command script Peli. Now within this command script called Peli, we're using the command CS fly to, and we're telling it to fly to our point group that we made called Pelican points and to fly this to the specific point of P zero. Now for this command script, we are calling it on the startup. So right here below that, we have another script that runs as soon as the game starts, which is what startup means. And I just call this script call Peli because it's basically going over here and reading this and running through the, this script. And right here under this call Peli script, so we're saying here, run a command script. And then here we specify which actor we want to run this over. So that's why we entered in the name of our AI squads, Pelican 1. You can see here Pelican 1. And then our fire teams, marine pilot, starting points, and the Pelican pilot. So this is saying run a command script over this specific AI. And the command script that we're going to be running is called Peli. Cool. So that's just explaining a little bit of what's going on. Now let's continue with the script. So here in Sapien, I'm going to create one point over here. And I'm going to create another point right here. And a last point way over here. Now this point that's behind the pelican is where I want the pelican to be facing when it goes to point zero. What I mean by that is right now, the nose of the pelican is facing towards the map. I want the nose of the pelican to be facing towards the water. So we have this point here, which is P1, and I'm just gonna rename it to P1 and then face. So basically we know this point is just gonna be used to orient the pelican. So in our script here to do that, let's do a new line, open bracket, and write sleep space one and close bracket. And now another new line, open bracket again, cs 
underscore face. And now it's right in all caps, true. And now we're going to be specifying which point that we want it to be facing. So again, we know that's under Pelican points. And you can see here, there's a pop up that comes if you use the arrow keys and scroll down, you could just hit tab and it'll auto complete it for you. So let's change this to P1 face. And now after that, let's just do an end bracket, enter. And let's also write another open bracket, sleep 300, close bracket. Now let's save this here. Go back into our Sapien, file, compile scripts, and let's do a map reset. Now we can see here the pelican starts flying towards our point, P0. It gets there and it turns around and faces towards this, this other point here called P1 face. Cool. So now that we have that, let's add to our script a bit more. So now I want this pelican to fly to these two points as well, but I want it to also stop facing this way when it starts flying. So to do that, we could just copy this, this CS face line that we have and go right under the, the sleep 300, hit enter and paste it and change it from true to false. Now this will basically stop the pelican from facing that direction. And then now let's hit enter. And again, we can actually copy our first line here, which was the CS fly to pelican and paste that here and just change the point number from P0 to P2. Now let's hit enter and let's add sleep one and let's hit enter again and add in that same line again of CS fly to, except let's change that from P2 to P3. After we pasted that line, let's write another sleep one and have an end bracket. Let's save and go file, compile scripts, and then scenarios, map reset. So you can see here our pelican flies in, it goes to point zero, it turns around to face this point right here, P1 face, and then after a little bit, it'll start flying off towards point two. Once it hits point two, it'll fly off towards point three. Now, the pelican is just sitting here and we don't really need it anymore. So the next thing we're gonna do in our script here is click enter and do an open bracket and write object underscore destroy space open bracket AI underscore vehicle and then underscore get and a space AI underscore current underscore actor. And now let's do two brackets at the end here to close this off. Let's save this and go to file, compile scripts in Sapien and do a map reset. And whoops, you can see here, I spelled destroy wrong and I got an error. Let's change that, save, file, pile scripts, and now do another map reset. So you can see now Pelican's flying here, it hits point two, it goes towards point three, and now it disappears. So that's how you make a pelican and make it fly using scripting and some points. Before I go, I want to thank my Patreons for supporting me and my legendary Patreons, SGT, Texas Ranger. If it wasn't for you guys, these videos wouldn't be possible. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.